Good evening, everyone. Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com coming at you with another break of 2018-19 Panini Select Basketball. 12 box, pick your team, two. We've been working through some random teams, but here's our second full case pick your team. If you see that little uh, rooftop next to your name, that means you got that team in a spot random, so thank you for helping fill that up and good luck. I'm not sure who got last spot mojo in this break. we try and find out? Those are the spot randoms. What was the team that was? It's going to take two seconds here. This is this is important, ladies and gentlemen. Last spot mojo is important. Last team picked up was by Brandon. He bought the Rockets and the Jazz. All right, so there you go. It's official now, Brandon. You got the Last Spot Mojo star next to your name. Double Last Spot Mojo because he bought both those teams at once. Full case coming at you. Here we go. All right, so there's... Six boxes, a row of six back there, a row of six right here. Good luck, everyone. We are in the last game of a basketball game of the night, folks. Halftime in Los Angeles here in L.A. My Lakers down. Nuggets up 66-49. to The other game that's happening right now is Celtics are in Sacramento. With about 18 seconds left in the third quarter. Celtics up 82-77. I've got a bit of a financial interest in, in the Kings and my Lakers. Lakers probably not going to take care of business tonight. They're missing a lot of people. But the Kings, I feel like they can do it. Suns beat the Knicks, 107-96. to Jazz beat the Pelicans, 114-104. Bulls in a crazy ending, edge out uh, the Sixers, 108-107. I guess the Bulls really aren't tanking. I think, I think they still have a few teams ahead of them that are four or five games worse than them. I suppose they can still improve their... Their lottery percentage, right? All right. Here we go. Kyrie Irving leads us off. There's Zach Collins. White prism to 149. That will be sleeved and top loaded by our team before they all go out. There will be a recap video in a separate video. So if you're watching the replay of this and you don't feel like listening to this whole thing, although there might be some great inside jokes that might appear from this break, um, you can go to the recap video and you can see everything there. I will sleeve up and top load the die cuts just so just to protect them. They need a safe space <laughs> in this top loader. Out of 175, DeMar DeRozan, Brandon with the Spurs. Oh, Rajon Rondo to 99. Throwback memorabilia, Celtics edition. The version of Rondo I hated. I, I love Rondo now. He's wearing a Lakers shirt, that's fine. There's Alan Crabb, 25 out of 25. Tie-dye, oh, that's a great patch. Trailblazers, where are you at? That's John Samuelson. There you go, John. Love those tie-dyes. Colton saying, my Hawks, I was, I was on the Col uh, I was on, I was on the Coltons tonight. I was on the, on the Hawks tonight. I was on Colton's Hawks tonight. I thought they'd do it. They they play pretty they play pretty decently at home. 
out of 249, Giannis Antetokounmpo. Uh, Jake, you uh, you got the Heat in the spot random. Did you get another team? I think that was it. Yeah, you got the Heat in the spot random. And Colton, you got the Nets. Just just as a refresher. There's Robin out of 299. There's Ben Simmons, Silver. Josh Hart. Josh Hart getting the start tonight. I want him to. I, I want to see him do well. And we got Robert Ory. In-flight signatures. Nice. Rockets. Brandon Luger with the Rockets. One of his last spot mojo teams. Big shot, Rob. All right, next box. All right, Hawks lost to uh, the Spurs, 111-104. In Atlanta, I feel like the Hawks have been playing some pretty good ball at home, so I thought that would be a good play. Oh, there's Hawks highlights right now. What happened? They're only down by three in the fourth quarter. Oh. They let that Aldridge guy score points. I like uh, Colton. You should be pretty happy about the Hawks, though. I think that they've got a they've got a pretty pretty interesting team there, right? Trey Young, we like, right? He's playing some good basketball. Some people may ar have even argued that he could end up being a better all around player than Luka Doncic, which people might think it's crazy talk. But look at the numbers, look at the stats, look at the advanced stats. Trey Young distributing the ball more than people thought, not just jacking up three. So for a young player like him, he's really kind of wrapped his head around the more the more subtleties of the game. I mean, still unpolished, but still young. But a little bit faster than a lot of people thought. Kevin Huter is playing some good ball, right? Um, I don't mind Torn Prince. John Collins has been great. So, so that's a good core right there. Right, Colton's like, I love that young core. There's J.J. Redick to 99. So, Buddy healed to 199. So, um, now I think you guys have a favorable... Hawks have a favorable draft situation, right? If I'm not mistaken. Because I feel like they got, they got Dallas, the Dallas pick, right? Because of that Luka Doncic trade. So they've got two first-round picks... And cap space, couple good, a couple good draft picks, you know, or maybe a smart trade here and there. Maybe lure. Uh, listen, I'm not sure if you're going to get the Kevin Durant of the world. No offense, or the Kyrie's of the world, right? In free agency, or Kawhi's or whatever. But you know, a couple next level free agent kind of signings here and there. There's Ayer Smith relic to Brandon, and all of a sudden, in a week or East. Hawks can make some noise. Up, Rory. Uh, Select has been very solid for us. We haven't seen like a Luka Doncic autograph or anything like that, but we've seen a lot of parallels. We've seen a couple Steph Curry autograph redemptions, which has been pretty solid. We got a one of one Michael Porter Jr. Nike swoosh relic. There's Steven Jackson, 20 out of 199, jersey and autograph. Some nice parallels that probably sell a lot, for a lot more than I think they would. Just because the select is great. There's Kevin Knox. Die cut. Gold, which is out of 10. That goes to Josh Proust in the New York Knicks. 10 out of 10. Which adds adds up to 20. So that's pretty much jersey number? Yeah, I'd say so. Um, we saw a nice, uh, I guess, whatever the shortest printed tier is. Kind of silver edition of Luka Doncic. It pulled some of those in some breaks. It's Dan Marley pulled. This is like our fourth Dan Marley jersey and autograph. Uh, that goes to the Suns. Ryan Sullivan's not complaining. There it is. It's a hit. Oh, pulled a DeAndre Ayton autograph in a random team break. Looking for one more for Ryan in this one. There's Russell Westbrook. Not Russell 
rest bro brook, as I was about to say. 158 out of 249. And there's Steven Adams. Next box. No Kawhi redemptions yet. Zebras or anything tie dye or less is selling great. Yeah, as 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 per usual. Like that Kevin Knox out of ten. Like we you, you pull a football in, in select football. You pull an out of ten die cut. It won't go nearly as much as that Kevin Knox. That'll be that 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 will sell surprisingly well. Yeah, courtside silver Lucas are almost better than his autos. Rex says, since Jason Witten's coming back, basketball needs their comeback. Oh, I don't want to see old, slow Jordan back. I'd like to remember Michael Jordan the way he was. It's already bad enough he, he tried to stretch out his career those last handful of years. I don't want to see Pippen out there. I don't want to see Rodman, Bird. Bird can't even, he could barely walk. Remember all those back issues he had at the end of his career? And Shaq's kind of... Have you have you watched Inside the NBA on TNT? Shaq's a little big now. <laughs> he would get he would get winded with a he he play a minute a game. There's Jerome Robinson die cut. Yeah, no thanks. This is like a lot of older guys will talk. There's Marvin Bagley, Jersey and Auto to ninety nine. Nice. Kings, Brian D with the Kings. Nice hit there. Sacramento has been building a nice young core too. 88 out of 99. No, it would just make me sad. People people are saying, people, old cool guys will talk about like seeing Willie Mays playing that last season for the Mets or something like that. And they said it just made him sad. I don't want to be sad watching those legends like stumble around the court and having like having like Javon Carter punk Scottie Pippen on the court you don't want to see that <laughs> 48 out of 65 that's orange I almost a gold for a second orange Harrison Barnes die cut um, I was going to say Kings but he's still Mavs edition in this one Brandon with that one There's Ricky Rubio, and there's Wes Matthews. That Ricky Rubio, those silvers are numbered, 85 out of 99. Jazz with that one, that's Brandon. We'll save one of those Kevin Knoxes as well. Silver rookie. There's Lonzo. Lonnie Walker the fourth. Rory, how much are these? Uh, Rory might know this off off the top of his head a lot better than I would. Um, Rory, what's uh, the, these box prices up to? These per box prices up to now? And what do they start at retail? And then what are they at now? They they must be they must be going up. As we speak, there's Al Farouk Aminu to 199. Next box. All right, Mark Matheson said he got two for 179 each. Okay, so Rory's saying it's one, 120 is suggested retail. I would love to 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 get it 120 retail would be awesome. Yeah, I don't think the market ever saw that, right? Currently 185. So there you got a bit of a deal, Mark. Oh, 
Oh, nice. Rory saying his shop in Milwaukee. We did them as 175 a box as a release date special. There you go. All right. Next box. I feel like that die cut was about to slip out. That's Lonzo Ball. Lonzo Ball wanted to say hi. 88 out of 99. I think Lonzo, as I've said before, his long absence from the Lakers have been a bit of an issue. See, this, without Lonzo, Brandon Ingram has to play point more often. LeBron has to handle the ball, ball more often. So Lonzo, that sets the tone for, for defense, too. Not saying he's the only reason, but... A lot of reasons for the disappointing season this year. There's Kyrie, and there's DeAndre Ayton. Relic, draft day. Draft selections relic, which I'm assuming are from draft day. That goes to Ryan Sullivan and the Suns, getting a little bit warmer. Yes, yeah, base rookies do ship. Um, let me... The item description specific, uh, I want to, so it's concourse, which is like the lowest tier, concourse veteran base. They don't ship. Everything else does. Yeah, Select has been looking really good, Adam. There's Michael Kidd Gilchrist. We haven't pulled like a Doncic autograph or anything like that, but pulled, pulled a number of his parallels. Got a one of one already. There's Jonas Valachunas relic. Select swatches. So pretty solid stuff. Usually, you know, like... I mean, you can kind of tell right away, like in the chat, you know, if, if, if you know, you can because since we're on the West Coast, we don't go on until later, so a lot of a lot of people have an opportunity to to watch a lot of breaks, and sometimes you can get the feeling that people are kind of aren't into it, but sometimes they are. But uh, but right when I when we went when we uh, went live at around three o'clock Pacific, everyone was just like, can't wait. This stuff has looked great. Obviously, you know. You know, people are gonna kind of gonna, gonna be like, "Oh man, if you don't hit," but but just in general, just as a product itself, I think people have been pretty happy with what they've been seeing pop out of here. A little little light on Luka Doncic autographs, but I think that actually is a good thing. And people are, uh, you know, select Prism, select National Treasures, Immaculate, Flawless. Those kind of products are like Panini staples. Those are like. You know they're they're sort of flagship brands, so they're not gonna they're not gonna screw around with something like this. They're not gonna mess this up. John Moore Delaro saying his local in uh, Spokane, Washington, is selling box for two forty a box. Wow, that's a little much, isn't it? Yeah, go, go go grab some from Rory. <laughs> Vinny, what's going on? Rory pulled you a Luca auto today. You're first. Dang it. I was hoping I'd be your first, Vinny. All right. Next box. There's Aaron Holiday, Scope. Kevin Knox, Silver, we'll save those. And Christian Leitner. Christian Leitner, jersey and autograph. Everyone loves Christian Leitner, right? One oh nine out of one forty nine. Uh Timberwolves edition. That'll be for Jerry Bennington. Remember the ESPN thirty for thirty? I hate Christian Leitner. <laughs> Now, even with the Clippers, 
Rick Smith's 47 out of 149 jersey and autograph. Remember Rick Smith's? Pacers on the board, Jeremy Anderson. And we've got, ooh, gold, Jaron Jackson Jr., 1 out of 10. Josh Proust, who got randomized the Grizzlies from the spot random, gets the JJJ, 1 out of 10, courtside. That's nice. That's got to go for like what? What does that go for, Rory? A hundred bucks? Hundred fifty? There's KD to one ninety nine. Derek favors for the Jazz die cut. That'll be for Brandon. Couple hundred for sure. He says, yeah. See what I mean, ladies and gentlemen? Non auto these parallels, especially out of select. Will do very well. Rory's even thinking two, three hundred bucks. There he is again. And there's Ayer Smith. Draft selections relic. Ninety four out of ninety nine for the Sixers. That'll be for Brandon. Who got the Sixers randomized to him in the spot random. Out of two ninety nine, Alfaruka Minu. Yeah, what does what the Doncic version of that go for then? Out of 10? Courtside? Maybe two, three thousand dollars? <laughs> out of zero? I know, I heard. That Luca Emerald out of five sold for 2,800. Non auto? That's crazy. Man, if the prices of Luka Doncic are the way they are now, imagine imagine when like NT and Flawless come out. There's Kyle Lowry die cut to 240. And although I wonder if those prices will end up just selling for like just a little above select prices just because of how how this has been selling. I don't know, who knows? Well that we might not see that until later this summer anyway. There may, there may be some time for people to save up their money for, for that, those high-end Luka Doncic cards in Flawless and NT. There it is, Trevor Reza to 170. Iman Shumpert, Knicks edition, Jersey. That is for Josh Proust and the New York Knicks. And we got SGA. SGA relic for the Clip Show. Jeremy 33 with the Clippers. Wow, you think you think the Luka Doncic logo man out of Flawless or NT will go for 125, 125,000? I could see that. People love those logo men. I mean that that's that's the thing with uh I think select prism you know people are probably there's more of a kind of buying and buying and reselling kind of market with these hits 
people grade these and whatnot. But stuff like an NT, uh, there is a reselling market there, but a lot of times people are buying those just to keep. You know what I mean? So some collector who's a huge Dallas Mavericks or a big Luka Doncic fan is going to buy those, like the buy a logo man up just to have in their personal collection. That's for like the super collectors right there. You know? There's Concourse Luka Doncic. For the Mavs, that goes to Brandon Luger. And you've got a base courtside Luka Doncic. Just base version, not even silver, but still nice nonetheless. Andrew Wiggins, gold. Two-color patch and autograph. Jerry Bennington with the T-Wolves. Those golds look, look nice. Damn nice. Nine out of ten on that one. That sort of X-Fractor pattern in the background. Love it. SGA to two ninety nine. Let me just make myself a little room here. All right, we are now halfway through this full case break. We've got about another 25, 30 minutes to go. Good luck, everyone. Right, yeah, that's that's what I seem to remember as well. Rory and Jake are saying Flawless doesn't have like a true RPA set, Rex, so that's why those those patch autos out of Flawless, I mean, will obviously do well, you know, but they won't do as well as the National Treasures RPAs, which has like the the true RPA. It's not like a not like an insert or anything like that. In, insert patch auto. Flawless logo, man. Those, those are those are pretty fine. All right, we start off with Joel Embiid, Giannis Antetokounmpo. We got a Rodney Hood die cut for the Cavs. John Ryder with the Cavaliers. Out of 175. We got for the Sixers throwback memorabilia Evan Turner, 15 out of 49. That'll be for Brandon and the Sixers. Got randomized the Sixers in the spot random. CJ McCollum, Carl Anthony Towns. DeMarcus Cousins, X Factor, Warriors Edition going to Mark Matheson. Not numbered. Harrison Barnes for the Mavericks, die cut. That's what I thought I saw Luka Doncic there. There's Nerlens Noel to two ninety nine. And that is Concourse, Luca. Let's leave up that Harrison Barnes, too. Ray Rice, Adam is ready for a crazy NBA offseason. At a 249, that goes to the Mavs. 
Let's say one of those DeAndre Aytons too. You think the Warriors, Celtics, and Lakers all get shaken up, but two thirds of those teams come out better if they than they were. Yeah, I'm not sure what the I, I'm as concerned about the Lakers off season as I am about the Raiders off season. Twenty four out of twenty five. Woo! Two color patch and autograph tie dye. Lori Markinen. Brandon Luger got the Bulls in the spot random. Nice. 24 out of 25. Love that tie-dye pad. That's his jersey number. We've been, we hit a few jersey numbers today, ladies and gentlemen. That's crazy. Hmm. And DeAndre Ayton, white prism to 149. Rex is interested in seeing what the uh, Bryce Harper's in a Phillies uniform autographs will go for. His jersey itself, I think Fanatics was saying that it's one of the one of the fastest selling jerseys, something like that. I don't know what the exact thing was, but a, a lot sold. Really fast. Lakers, you think Lakers are going to get Clay and Cousins? And Celtics are going to get Anthony Davis and keep Kyrie? I mean... I'd like for the Lakers to get Clay Thompson and even DeMarcus Cousins, but I think Clay Thompson has said he he would. Well, if they don't re-sign Kevin Durant, which it doesn't seem like they're going to, or that Kevin Durant would re-sign with the uh, with the Lakers or with the with the Warriors, which means they'll probably use that money to sign Clay Thompson, Anthony Simons, but. I, but yeah, no, these are just Adam's hot takes here. Bold predictions. That's for the Trailblazers. That'll be for John Samuelson. There's LeBron James to 299. Um, I don't think we'll be getting Don Respect. Well, not for group breaks anyway. There's Kevin Knox. I think we'll. I think we got a case for like mixers and stuff. Jacob Evans a third. Well, I think KD and Kyrie. That's those are the first two dominoes, right? The free agent dominoes. We gotta see where they end up. Kyrie might end up on the Lakers, right? There's Ben Simmons die cut. Two twenty three out of two forty nine. Ben Simmons die cut. Brandon. And DeAndre Ayton. Tie dye seventeen out of twenty five. Ryan Sullivan. There you go, Ryan. His tie dyes always do well on secondary market. That is strong. Courtside edition as well. Nice. DeMar Rosen to 65. Save one of those silver DeAndre Aydins too. Damian Lillard and Seth Curry. Katie to Boston could be interesting. Think he'd really go to Boston though? Well, that'll be a, who knows where he, who knows where K 
Katie's going to go. Four out of 65. Four boxes to go. I could see Kyrie reuniting with LeBron here in LA. And then the Lakers just moving the moving the house to try to get Anthony Davis in the offseason again. I don't think the Celtics want to trade Jason Tatum. I think they I think they kind of want to are willing to let Kyrie go, keep Jason Tatum and give give uh, Gordon Hayward once he's, you know, fully back from his injury and everything which it seems like he is and over the last few games he's getting there you know so I think the Celtics won't really do anything I don't know we'll see there's Troy Brown Jr. to 99 And Kawhi's a free agent, right? After this year? Is it an opt-out or is it free agency? There's Elia Kobu, autograph for Ryan Sullivan and the Suns. Out of 199. Mo Bamba, silver. Damian Lillard, red. And another Luka Doncic base card, which will probably go for a zillion dollars. And that's another one for Brandon. Just racking them up, Brandon. Premier level. And there's Wendell Carter Jr., draft selections relic. That is for Brandon and the Bulls. Carl Anthony Towns die cut. Lakers are actually kind of keeping this game close. Sixty eight out of one seventy five for the Timberwolves, Jerry Bennington. Grayson Allen, DeAndre Jordan, X Factor. Where's DeAndre Jordan? Is he playing? Thought he was gonna get he was gonna get bought out. And then he was gonna join another team somewhere. Yeah, but is he playing on the Knicks though? Is he getting minutes? They don't want him to get minutes, they want to tank. Next box. Next one. Uh, Rory was saying, I got to decide if I'm going to get into to pick your team three and what team, or if I want to go half case random team. Anyone want to try to sway Rory's decision tonight? I only see two orders coming in. Looks like select pick your team three is down to three or down to 12. And, um, the half case random team, which is from a fresh case, is at 16.
So X is like, if Luke is selling like he is, imagine what Zion will end up going for. Well, probably a lot, but here's the thing. The Luca hype was, there's, the, there's a zebra right down there too. The Luca hype was really, um, I mean, I don't remember there being a lot of hype, just really, there's Jordan Bell to 149. There wasn't a lot of, um, I guess there was pre-draft hype, but it wasn't really like huge. You know what I mean? But it's his, it's his play. Like he just lit it up from like game one. I mean, which is, which is kind of a healthier way for someone's autograph like value to rise hobby wise, right? Like he's, he's just been balling out since game one. You know, triple doubles left and right. There's Kata Bates Diop. And I think that's what really what kind of and then that then that created kind of like the cycle of hype, right? Hype, good play, more hype, good play, even more hype, good play. So I think Zion over the summer will probably sell really well after the draft, but then he's gotta stay healthy. Then he's gotta just start going nuts. I mean, he'll always sell, you know, well, he's going to be drafted probably number one overall. There's Josh Okogie. So just by that, I mean, DeAndre Ayton still sells pretty well, you know. He's had a pretty solid season too. But he's got to play well. Rory thinks Zion's going to bust. I hope not. <laughs> not be, won't be good for the hobby. There's a scope, Trey Young, premier level. And we got Ilgauskas for the Cavs, John Ryder with the Cavaliers. <laughs> Garrett's like, yeah, bust out some more shoes. You know, if, if uh, no, nice D'Angelo Russell. There you go. Nets, there you go, Colton. Got the case hit. Or not a case hit, it's a super short print, but it seems to fall maybe one or two per case. Gordon Hayward just hit a game winner. No, two seconds left for the Kings. I have financial interest in the Kings. But the Kings have hit clutch threes, clutch late late game shots. They're known for that. I still believe. Wait, ESPN my ESPN.com is saying zeros on the clock. Rex is wondering what the percentage of uh, number one draftees making it big throughout all sports. I bet it's not very high, honestly. I think you're right. I feel like a lot of times, I mean, I feel like the number one overall pick is like a blessing and a curse. Right? I feel like teams usually screw it up. They overthink it and they screw it up. There's Jason Tatum to 249. So that, that's a factor too. And Celtics win? Dang it. All right, so. I guess I now I need, now I need the Lakers plus 190. All right, come on Lakers.
There's Brandon Ingram to 299. There's uh, X Factor, Kevin Durant, KD. I think Rookies of the Year, Rex. I, I, in rookies of the Year in baseball, I feel like they do well. Ooh. Dikembe Matumbo. Great autograph for Brandon Luger and the 76ers. Got the Sixers in a spot random. That is strong. You got you got his number, you got the Hall of Fame inscription, great autograph, 179 out of 199. Nice. There's Rudy Gobert to 99. Marcin Gortat, Jersey. That's true, Rex. Yeah, first all over picks probably have a tough time with the pressure. Well, and why are they number one overall picks? Because that the team they got drafted to is probably really bad. <laughs> so they've got that double whammy, right? Pressure to like turn the turn the team around, but they're stuck on a bad team. That's why that's why they were picking number one in the first place. It's a double whammy. Out of ninety nine. Oh, Lakers look like they wanna wanna win this game. Eighty seven, eighty three. Only down by four with 10 minutes left in the fourth quarter. Yeah, LeBron driving to the basket, taking that shot. All right, last one. You know the Lakers will blow it? Come on, John Prine. Oh, they weren't supposed to win it anyway. They can't blow what they can't what they weren't supposed to win in the first place. Denver is like with a second best team in the West, record wise at least. Ooh. Rebound. LeBron James dumps it off to. Is that Alex Caruso? Whoa! Dumps it off to Alex Caruso. Dribble drive to the basket. Lakers out of the playoffs still on prime time. Well, there's still 3 million people in Los Angeles. A million will still watch it. <laughs> we'll still watch the Lakers. The ratings are still good. There he is right there, LeBron. No, not David Crusoe's son. Where is it? Where is EA? Eric, if you're listening, dust off your Alex Caruso cards. <laughs> poor, poor EA bought the Lakers like a couple times in like some, some break last year. All he ended up was Alex Caruso rookie autos. Out of 249, Grayson Allen die cut. Anthony Simons. Zach Levine, and Colin Sexton. Nice Colin Sexton autograph for John Ryder and the Cavs. One sixty nine out of one ninety nine. Hamadou Diallo, Kevin Durant, Luka Doncic. That is Concourse. KD was to 299. Hamadou Diallo. Those tricolors are not numbered. Scope. Shea Gilgis Alexander die cut. 10 out of 99. We got Omri Caspi for the Kings. 
Brian with the Sacramento Kings. Wait, do they not have, like, flex scheduling? Uh, Rory made me think about that. Lakers out of the playoffs but still on primetime. Does ESPN not have, like, some sort of flex scheduling? Where they can be like, no, we, don't, we want to put a different game on? And... Ooh! Luka Doncic Relic. 8 out of 49. Nice. That goes to Brandon and the Dallas Mavericks. There you go. That's the last hit of the break. Nice way to end it, ladies and gentlemen. And there you go. No randomizers, nothing. That's it. Nice clean break. Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com saying thank you. That was Pick Your Team 2 of 1819 Select Basketball. Brand new release. Um, we'll see you. For the next one. Bye-bye.